questions. Somebody sent me a chat on WhatsApp. I said I have some friends that or some some young people I'm, I'm mentoring and they are all on fire for God, but they are you know struggling with immorality. And so I I didn't know what to reply that message because it shows you how far down the button has fallen as far as the faith. Yes or no? Our definitions are all crooked. Everything is all funny. I looked at the statement, they are on fire, but in immorality. I was confused. I said, tell this to Paul. Tell this to James. Tell this to John. Tell this to, tell this to the saints that we read about. Tell this even to your angels that you are on fire, but you are in... You know, it's a confusing statement in heaven, but it's very acceptable on earth, yes or no? It's actually on fire, but it's in immorality. And so I said, my dear brother, the two things you said don't go together. You can't be on fire and still be struggling with immorality. And I'll show you how, how actually that is possible because fire is in levels, it's in degrees. Hallelujah. I don't want us to waste time tonight. One of the ways we get the fire up is through prayers. And so if you don't pray this night, there's nothing I can really do about it. <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it. I learned a long time ago that it's not a hand laid on you that's going to bring you to your destiny. You must like prayer. Because prayer is fire. Remember, the presence of God is the presence of the consuming fire. And that's where we are when we pray. Hallelujah. Let's turn to Acts. Quickly, Acts chapter 28. And we'll read from verse 1 to verse 3 or verse 4 together. Together, one, two, go. Verse 2. Verse 3. Let's stay on verse 3 very quickly and look at it one more time. If you can give us another version, it's fine. And when Paul, all right, Paul gathered a pile of brushwood and as he put it in the water, so there was fire before, right? As he put it on the fire, a viper driven out by the what? Fasting itself on his hand and then the rest is history. He shook it into the fire and that was it. There was viper inside fire. Viper is death. One sting. Remember what the men said later on. One sting and you are history. That's deadly thing was inside what we regard as what? Fire. And the secret was simple. He increased the wood on the fire. And the fire increased. And once the fire increased, because of the heat, the viper came out. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, I know you understand what I'm saying. I mean, you're listening to me. You're understanding what I'm saying. But I want you to cross from here to here. Proof that you understand what I'm saying is that you will stop measuring how many hours you pray and just bury yourself in the place of prayer. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? You know? Because the kind of wood we have in the fire that we call fire today, especially in the territories that we live in, Abuja, Lagos, Portacot, you know, it's easier in some territories than some others. Is the reason why it looks as if you're not even a Christian. Because the territory is stronger than you. It's stronger than what you're carrying. As some of us seated here calling ourselves on fire, if you get to some territories, you will know that you're a harlot. 
I'm not kidding you. You get to some territories, you know that you are a thief. Walk in some places, you will know what is inside you. Because your fire is the one that we can still manage in certain territories. When you get to some places, if you don't step up the heat, you will find out what has been living all this while. Is somebody following? I'm sure what I'm saying is making sense as you're listening. Some of you found out after university that, ah, I don't have fire. Because there was fellowship, everybody was just making noise and shouting and singing. Once you got to NYC, you realized by revelation, ah, there's no fire. Some people finish school and once they entered main church, mainstream church, they realized all of a sudden that there's no fire. Some people got to work. Once they started working, they realized. Now, were they on fire before? Yes or no? Yes or no? no? You're on fire, have you? Yes or no now? And so we all agree that fire is in levels, is in degrees. And the amount of heat your fire is producing determines what can stay and what cannot stay. I'm speaking to people under the sound of my voice who have things that have resisted their fire for 5 years, 10 years, 15 years. Believe me, if you can give it the necessary wood without anybody laying hands, without anybody ministering to you, things will jump out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.